Hi Donna, here we are with the eyelet needle plate. What I've done is remove the two side panels from the foot, uh, removed the feed dog and removed the three separate needle plate sections, the center, the moon and the slide on. Uh, this screws on uh, as opposed to spring sort of clipping in like the 102 model. Uh, if you just want to do normal freehand embroidery, which will be quite common, you'll still need to remove the feet dog and the two side panels of the feet and replace the center needle plate with this one. This is for your general freehand embroidery. For the specialty stitches, you'll use this, this needle plate. Okay, so what you'll need to do is use an embroidery frame. I've already tightened the fabric. I'm using a cotton voile here doubled over and I've got two layers of tearaway. Put a small hole through the fabric like so. This is so it'll go over the guide in the needle plate. Have your needle in the highest position and angle your frame in like so and you should be able to find the right position like that. Push it down around. Now, I've got the needle bar set to the far right, which actually means up here at the top, you have three options. You set this to the far left. Make sure that the pin is all the way in, not partially, but you've got to make sure it's all the way through. You can see it via the front. Just make sure that's clipped in, keeping it secure. Now, First you'll need to bring up your bobbin thread, so hold on to your top thread. Once it gets to that point you can feel it release. Pull up your bobbin thread to the top of the fabric. Keep it all nice and clean. I'm going to do a ring straight stitch first as support. That will hold the tear away in place, like so. Now cut off the tail threads before you reach it. Just very lightly on the frame, no pressure. Like so. Now I'm going to do a medium width zigzag. I will trail this by hand first to check. Mid width, there we are. So about halfway between your guideline and the central post in the needle plate. I'm not going to do this as a very condensed stitch. Again just for support. Like so. Now I've got good support there. I'm going to Bring my needle up from its furthest to the right and then using the knee lever work out how far it needs to swing to the left. There. And then make sure you keep the knee lever in the right position. Don't let it get wider. Now I'm going to do one more above that, just to give it a bit more height, so I'll go around one more time. Now to finish it off nicely, slack off a bit of thread, pull it up and out. Again you need to angle your frame to come out. Take some thread, 
and the same system that we did to get the bobbin thread to the top you're going to do the opposite and bring your top thread to the bottom and then tie them off together this is something you've been doing already essentially for the chain stitch embroidery so making it really nice finish people don't notice when it's beautifully finished as much as they notice when it's not okay so I've accidentally let one of my um, bobbin threads come up but finish that off check actually I usually use the same color bobbin thread um, if I'm using a normal embroidery thread or in this point I'm using a matte finish sewing thread uh, I have tried the 600D rayon uh, without the feed dog, without success, unfortunately. So um, you'll only be able to use the 600D with the feed dog system. Enjoy.